Hey guys, it's me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to week 8 of the Pokemon Premier League, the penultimate week of Season 3. This week we're up against Q the Costa Rican and his Chicago Pulse. I think that's the team name, I hope I've got that right, because I haven't actually got it up in front of me. This is a huge pivotal game um, in keeping any kind of playoff dream alive. Q is currently 5-2, and two. I'm currently 4-3. and three. Q has got a far superior kill death ratio compared to me. I think mine's like negative four. I think his is something like plus 12, around something like that. He's had a few big wins. A lot of my wins have been close. A lot of my losses have obviously been large. So um, I'm not looking too good there. So to keep any kind of hope of playoffs alive, I must win this game. Now, while I've been saying this, you will have seen the uh, matchup on the screen. Um, it's a fairly even matchup I would say. There's a couple things on my team which do an absolute shift into his but then again he does also have a Shifu uh, single strike which single-handedly can just you know dismantle anyone's team. Um, he also has other threats like Jirachi, Raquanid, um, Terra Hitmontop with Technician, um, the Petra Run. I don't know if I've said that already. Like, this man's team is just full of threats. He also has Superior, which luckily I don't think has a great matchup into me. Gardevoir, which is a Nightmare for Latios. So, it's a really even matchup because I do have things like Miss Magius, which do a number to him if I do elect to go Terra Fairy. Uh, but also the Moltres. Galarian Moltres is the big thing this week. So, well, let's get into the team builder. But, guys, if you aren't interested in looking into that, we'll see you when we get into the battle. The first team member this week is going to be Cinderace. Um, Cinderace was probably the last addition to the team. However, this was because I needed something for Jirachi. I needed something to take that thing out. We elected to put a choice band on Cinderace because even through Water Bubble, um, if it is a max HP, a Raquinid, it still does up to 42 to 49%. So if it's not Boots after Stealth Rocks, that is a two hit KO, as long as I can hit. Um, which has been a real struggle for my Cinderace this season to actually land the Pyro Ball. So fingers crossed that works. Otherwise, we're just gonna be clicking Stab U-turns to sort of move around uh, Q's team, especially as there's a Petra run. So this is probably something that Petrant would be switching into, so getting some momentum on that kind of Mon, which could be, you know, a nice setup opportunity for the Moltres. Um, that's kind of the idea there. But it's a, like, you know, a pretty generic um, sort of set for Cinderace. We've just gone for Zen Headbutt as well for something that can hit Petrant if I need to, you know, try and secure the KO, maybe try and flinch something as well. Um, and obviously we've put the rest of our remaining EVs from, like, the speed and attack um, into HP and defense just so we can potentially live a water move from Araquanid better if I am not a fire type at that point. So that's Cinderace this week. Second Pokemon on the team this week is going to be Plume Fist, the Vile Plume. One sole reason for Vile Plume to come this week is to be Terra Fairy into the uh, Shifu. It's a risky one, but it's a necessary bring. Um, mainly because he does have the Petrant, he does have the Jirachi. Obviously, if I go Terra Fairy on those, that's going to really hinder me. If I'm not Terrored, then Vileplume's actually pretty good into Petrant. Um, but obviously, Jirachi could still be a problem. Also, while I'm not Terrastalized, um, I'm also a bit of a check to any kind of Araquanid set. So that's something to consider too. I'll have to be careful when I decide to actually Terrastalize into a Fairy type. Um, but obviously we are running Effect Spore, just in case he isn't pads on a Shifu. Um, I'm predicting that it will be. Um, and then we've then gone Strength Sap, Leech Seed, Sludge Bomb and Protect. The only issue with this set is if he does decide to bring Steel Hitmon on top, I will really struggle to 1v1 that. Because obviously Rapid Spin means the Leech Seed um, will be removed each turn. However, obviously... If he does outspeed me, I'll be able to Leech Seed every turn and regain some health and chip away at that hit on top. So I'm just hoping it's not anything like Drain Punch or anything like Leftovers. Sludge Bomb is just a stab which can kind of spread around 
um, poison moves, and then I've got protect as well. I know protect obviously doesn't work against her Shifu, that's fine, it's more so that I can then kind of regain some health with Leech Seed and Protect to keep this thing alive and obviously I have the Strength Sap as well. So Vile Plume is just here to be a nuisance and a bulky mon that kind of slows down the momentum of Q's team. The third Pokemon for the team this week is going to be Glarian Moltres. Um, it's only the second time I've brought it this season, third time overall for Norwich Kitty after Padel used it. Um, this is our key to winning this game, and if it doesn't work, we're probably really going to struggle to to beat Q, if I'm being completely honest. We are running Double Dance, which is pretty standard on Glarian Moltres, um, with Lumberry. So the idea behind Lumberry is, one, to prevent Thunder Wave from slowing down my sweep or break from a Jirachi, but also it works on any potential malignant chain poisons from the uh, Petrunt if he does decide to try and beat my Moltres that way. It's unlikely because Petrarun will die to a plus two Fiery Wrath. Um, and if he stays in, it's like a free setup opportunity because Glarian Moltres is so bulky. Um, so that's why I'm running Lumberry, and then we've just got Hurricane and Fiery Wrath. And if you looked at the matchup earlier, he has absolutely nothing for this combination. So if I can get to plus two speed and plus two nasty plot, I have a chance to pretty much sweep the game. If I get into Berserk range and get a nasty plot off, I think Galarian Moltres, barring missing Hurricane, can just sweep the entirety of Q's team. So I either need to utilize this and claim some lives mid-game or use this to clean up uh, the end of the game. Um, if it doesn't work, like I said, I'm probably going to struggle, but that is going to be Galarian Moltres this week. Blastoise is pivotal this week to stopping Arachnid. And without stopping Araquanid, um, then that thing will just roll my team. Now I say stopping, it's more to disrupt it. The options I had this week were to run Smackdown to help along with the Landorus, uh, Rock Slide to do some kind of damage to uh, Araquanid, or run Yawn and, and put it to sleep or force it to switch on. We elected to go for the Yawn tech because if I put something to sleep, they, you know, Q decides to stay in, try and wake up. It allows me a free flip turn. It gives me a free switch into my Galarian Moltres. So that's why we elected for the sleep route. Um, rapid spin to remove hazards because obviously he has a rack with webs. He has um, Jirachi for rocks. Petrarun, I believe, for toxic spikes. So there's just lots of hazards on his team. So we want to make sure we can manage those. Flip turn is for momentum and then surf. I've decided to go for like special moves, my last move, otherwise Petrarun can just come in and set up on this thing, but saying that, I mean, Surf probably isn't going to do a lot either. But it would certainly do more than a physical move, probably even Earthquake. So that's why we've decided to go for Surf. And we are max physical defense because I'm fearing a physical set of the uh, Araquanid more than a special set. So that is basically the role of Blastoise this week. The next Pokemon is going to be Tinkerton. Now, Tinkerton was a funny one this week. Um, I kind of needed to bring it because it was my best way of answering Gardevoir, uh, even though it gets Mystical Fire. So um, I needed to think of how I wanted to run this. Um, physical moves, you know, he has two potential Intimidators, so Tinkerton hits like a wet like flannel anyway, so I, I didn't want it to hit even you know, less. And the special attack stat of Tinkerton is actually hardly any different to the physical attack. Um, that's why I've elected to go for a special set. Um, this means I can kind of recover some health with Draining Kiss. Flash Cannon is just a strong stab move and obviously something for the Gardevoir. And Foul Play is a nice move to have as well, even though it doesn't necessarily hit the Urshifu. I don't think Q will want Urshifu to be facing Tinkerton. Um, so that's why I've elected to kind of run Foul Play because it will just do strong chip to things like Landorus, uh, Raquinid. I think even they, like Raquinid takes like 30%. So it's just strong into those mons. And Araquanid's leech life is going to be doing nothing to Tinkerton. Uh, this Tinkerton should live up to two liquidations if it's not a choice about Araquanid. Uh, if it is, then it just dies to two. Um, the only issue obviously me going physical here is that Mystical Fire from God of War will do a lot more damage. But uh, even with the spread just being max HP, as long as he's not Specs or Life Orb, then Mystical Fire will not be two hit KOing my Tinkerton after leftovers. Not Citrus Berry this week, sorry Ricky. Um, 
but obviously the last move as well as Stealth Rock because that will be good chip on things like the Arachnid, the Petcheron, uh, and even the Landorus, uh, just ensuring that I'm, you know, it's easier for me to get those KOs. It's also really useful for scouting out boots on the Arachnid if I am fearing choice. Ball. So that's Tinkerton this week. The final team member this week is going to be Latios. Latios is another one like Cinderace where I deliberated whether I needed to bring it or not or wanted to bring it because there's a lot of things on Q's team that can kind of check Latios really well, being Gardevoir, uh, Shifu uh, and the Jirachi. But as long as you know the uh, Shifu is choiced into anything that isn't Sucker Punch or um, you know I catch the Gardevoir or Jirachi on the Switch, this thing actually has a lot of play. Um, the disgusting fact is that if you do click the Luster Purge into a max HP Gardevoir, so if it's not AV and it's not Special Defense, get the Special Defense drop, Shadow Ball will then kill uh, on the follow-up, which is disgusting, uh, especially after rocks it's guaranteed. I'm not sure if it's guaranteed without rocks. So if he is Offensive Gardevoir, I will obviously have to be careful of a Choice Scarf, but if it's not and it's a switch into a Luster Purge and I get that drop, then that's fantastic. If I get the drop, but I can clearly see it's bulky, then I can obviously flip turn away afterwards. Um, otherwise, I have decided to go for Dragon Pulse. I probably could have gone for Draco Meteor here, um, but it's kind of only there for the Urshifu with the Soul Dew. Um, I don't actually think it will kill, but Draco might. So that could possibly be a pretty poor decision in the long run, but I just didn't want to give myself that special attack drop. Um, and give things like the Jirachi a, a free chance to just set up on me, uh, or, the, or the Petron as well. So that's the team this week. Um, like I've said, we are heavily reliant on the Moltres, but before we get into the battle, please make sure you do leave a like or a dislike, obviously, if you don't like this. Um, but leave a comment, and also, most importantly, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and you are enjoying this PPL content. Um, because we are potentially going to be in for that playoff race, so it's going to be an exciting to end to the season, and if I do make it to playoffs, well, you don't want to miss those games either. So, uh, thanks for watching the Team Builder sell uh, segment of the video, and I'll see you for the battle. Okay, we are here for the penultimate week of Season 3 of the Pokemon Premier League. Let me just adjust my mic. Um, yeah, we're up against Q. Uh, I built... Monday? Yeah, Monday. Um, and then we had to change the game to today, which is Wednesday. And I've forgotten anything about the team. Um, good luck, have fun. Uh, Q, we are both searching. Uh, this is a weird matchup, because I've definitely got things that are really good into him. But then here's a Shifu single strike, so like, you know, what, what can you do? Um, okay, so he does bring the Shifu. Arak. One need. God of War. Landorus. Petron. He actually bought Petron, which I wasn't actually expecting. I'm surprised he bought both Intimidate users as well. Because um, I have got Defiant. He could obviously be Technician, but he's got at least one Intimidate user there, so. Uh, hit him on top. Um, so good news is... This thing goes crazy. Once Gardevoir is weakened. And that's about it. I'm banded on this, so I just need to... I think lock in with the Cinderace. I think that's probably my least, like, most expendable thing. And then we'll go from there, because I can just U-turn out. So good luck, have fun, Q. Um, we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm hoping this is also working, this recording, because obviously my week five didn't. Week seven did, which is something, which is good, because I need to send my recording to Jack. So, uh, so he leads with a rack Okay, that's good. It would have been really nice if I was, like, choice band Smackdown or something, but, like... Choice band U turn does good damage. So, like, if he wants to tear a water, that's great. Um, if he wants to set webs up, that's also fine. That's good damage. That's really good damage. Um, what do I want to go into? Do I want to go into this and get my Terra Fairy early? It's 
it's risky because that is my... The, I go into this, like, that is my... Um, what's its face? Check to... He's special. Which is really interesting. Because I am obviously physically defensive. Um, I haven't got much special offen uh, defense on the team this week. I'm going to pick Yawn. Just to see what he does here. Obviously I am faster, so he could surf again. Um, it's all good, because this is like all for, like this Blastoise is here for the Arachnid. So does he, he stays in, so he stays asleep, that's fine. Um, what are you going to do? Like Vile Plume could be good here, we'll do that. And then if I can get the Terror off, that's going to be really helpful. So he clicks Rest. Ah. That's a slight problem. <laughs> that's like a slight problem. I don't have the Terror in front of this thing. Are you Chesto? No, so you're going to be Rest, Sleep, Talk, Surf. Then what? Um, you haven't got a Grass type, so I'm going to click Leech Seed. So you're fast asleep, you're Sleep, Talk. What are you going to be? Like, I am physically defensive on this, but like... You know, what are you going to do to me? It's not very effective. I'm quite especially bulky. It's like last week all over again. Like, it's like last week all over. Alright, let's click Leech Seed again. He'll... I have got Protects. So I should be able to like regain health on this, so I'm not so low. Um, he hasn't got recovery on anything outside of this and Petrant, unless he has rest again, obviously. Can you sleep talk a rest for me? Unless you sleep talk, sir. Am I gonna miss the leech seed again? Do we wanna? No. Okay, we hit that nice. Um, I think I strength sap on the next turn because that should get me back up to nearly full and if he, it covers like if he wants to switch uh, into anything really. So I think I'll strength sap. Because it will cover any kind of switch into something else. So he withdraws, okay so if he goes into the Gardevoir, he goes into Petra Run, okay. So we do strength sap. This thing's a real big problem for me. Like a huge problem for me. Um, you could malignant chain. You could nightshade. I might just leech seed again. If he, he could be sub. Sub would be a problem. Um, let's see. If he's sub on this, then fair play. Uh, I think I'll just get 6 0 but. Shadow Balls. Okay. I did nothing. Did I. Honestly? How do I keep missing these moves? Like, genuinely, how do I keep missing these moves? It's actually so, so dumb. Um, but that did nothing. So, what is this then? What is this? You might as well stand down. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about that. So we're getting health back, which is nice. Let's go to bomb and take some chip. Big critical hit. Um, so with leech seed and leftovers, I should get back to a good amount. I haven't revealed protect yet, so I could protect here and get some more health and chip this thing down. Get into the ultras. One life. 
like a switch or something on the cover. So you're gonna click the cover. Apologies for the machine in the background. <laughs> uh, we'll go into this because this thing he didn't bring Jirachi. Just realised that's what he didn't bring, which is incredible because um, that's gonna do nothing. So with Leech Seed, we should get back to nearly full. So what actually stops this thing? What stops me clicking Fiery Wrath? Actually, I think Hurricane's probably safer. So let's click Hurricane. But the fact Pentrun is this low and it does that little to the file plume is insane. My wife seemingly wants to do anything that creates noise. Uh, waifu Jam. Yeah, so we, we knew this would be the answer. Just Trace and Berserk. Ooh. Miss? I guess. <sighs> Genuinely, what more can I do to actually land a move? Like, what is Leech Seed? 90%? Yeah, Leech Seed's 90% I've missed 2 out of 3, and Hurricane is 70% I've missed 1. Like, my team is fucking blind. I'm gonna miss Pirate Ball as well, at some point. So... We'll see that. Yeah, there's the Mystical Fire. So it does less than half. Oh, I'm, I'm especially offensive. Which I didn't think about when I did that. Um, with Mystical Fire. But they have to fear... Like... Gigaton Hammer or something here. They have to. So... Getting rocks up, rocks up is gonna be nice for me. Um, it'll give me good information on the Petra and what item that might be, and it'll give me good information on the, um, what's it called? I've what it's called. So then comes Landorus. Um, I don't have a great switch in for this. Um, I have to keep this around. Although, now I know that um, now I know that the spider is special. It does make my last dose a bit more expendable. So, I mean, if this thing is like Swords Dance or Earthquakes, like I go Latios and I bluff, I just on it. It's Calm Mind. What the shit is this? Like, I'm physically defensive Blast Dose, so this is probably going to kill me actually. Um, Like, I don't know, Earth Power probably kills me here. Um, I'll yawn. Earth Power kills me. Okay. Um, I think I get Latios, right? And I just click. Like, you'll have something for. It'll have to have something for, um, what's it called? So we click Luster Purge, like, head empty, we're clicking Luster Purge. Um, we'll get the Spadef drop and we'll kill it from that. Or we'll crit, because I'm due some luck, you know. Like, I've had zero luck this game. Whatsoever. Um, and if not, it might just be a Vile Plume into this and then I just have to hope I can set up with the Moltres because you know uh, she do then just win it. Um but I won't get the special defense draw, I can already tell you that. Oh we do, we get something nice. That's high for me. No, okay, good. So he has to recharge. No? Yes. Leftovers. So he's leftovers, so he has to recharge, which is nice. Um I think I click Lost Purge again. 
So this is Landorus gone, which is something. So it's not a 6-0, which is, which is good. Um, I wasn't expecting special. If his spider is webs, that could be annoying. So in comes the Urshifu. You know boots. Um, do you click? I, I don't know if Latios matters much now. My Petra is low, right? So, and I need a free switch into my... Do you click Sucker Punch? Do you just click Wicked Blow? I think I have to let this thing go. He clicks you turn through Scar. Good to know, good to know. Um, I think I needed that information. I needed that information. Uh, Latios is one for one. Cinderace is oh no. So actually that thing outspeeds my whole team. Which is slightly terrifying. Shifu is 1 and 0. And Landorus is 1 and 1. So the thing is, right, his hit on top is definitely his Terra Captain. 100% his Terra Captain. Fighting Steel. And. I haven't got the correct picture up. So we go into Cinderace and we miss. We miss the Pyro Ball. Because that's what we do. So here's Libero actually, which is interesting. Um, because like I imagine Choice Vampire Ball just kills this thing. Uh, so Cinderace into Guarded Noir. I mean, if your Scarf Pyro Ball kills you after rocks, if you're max HP, you don't die. You're at 88, I mean, Pyroball could kill, but I only blame because it's me. So I could U-turn here, see if you're scarfed on this. You are. So you live her into a Psychic man. Do I live? I live. Yeah, so you die? To U-turn? Yes. You die. Okay. That is big. Um, that is very big. Uh, look, Cinderace isn't dead. So what have you got left? Araquanid, Urshifu, Petra, and hit one top. So like, Terra, Vile Plume is looking quite good here. This thing is a good switch. But so is this. This is quite free, I, I think anyway. Like him on top could be uh, like Terra Steel. So actually with like Rapid Spin, it could like 1v1 me actually if it's Terra Steel because I am only Sludge Bombers and attacking move. So it would just be a game of PP stopping out 64 turns of Rapid Spin. <laughs> Because I have Protect as well, like I could Strength Sap over and over until it's like doing no damage to me. So in comes the Petra Run, right? So you click Recover here. 100% you click Recover, yeah. So I Leech Seed. The Land, which is something. Um, please do not be Terra Steel. But I don't think you will be. I think you'll be Terra Fairy. Can you be Terra Fairy on the on top? Um, let me get my picture for the matchup here. Uh, I'm going straight into this thing. So he stays in. I am Lumberry. So if he like moving and chains me, but I should be okay. He shadow balls. So if I. Click agility. 
here. Right. I click a jilly. I click a jilly, because if he goes a raccoonid, he pine shots. Okay. That's fine. Because what do you go into? What does minus one Galerian Moltres do to the Earth Shifu when I'll do nothing because I miss, you know, all my moves. So you're not banded, so we know that much. This is the Terramon. And this can be Dark, Steel, and Fighting. So I think I need to scout what you do. Cinderbase, what do you do for me this game? What's left? Probably not a lot. He might triple axle. Didn't see Intimidate, so he's definitely going to be like, triple axling me here or something. This actually, oh shit, I shouldn't have gone into this. This will be a throw. Please take triple axle. I am physically defensive on this. Um, and I will be faster. So does Mold Breaker stop Technician? Or is it? Because we tested this, right? Because Cerebi says Mold Breaker stops Water Bubble. I was like, great. That thing will do nothing to me. Um, please steal. Which is bad for me. Uh, although it does mean, you know, all I need to do is get Fiery. What's its face? Fiery Wrath into this thing is what I need to do. Um, so I can foul play this thing now, actually. Let's look foul play. See how much this does. Because he might be offensive. I doubt it. I imagine he'll be specially defensive. But it could be. That stupid spider is going to be annoying. I, like, I don't see this game. I don't know how it's going to end yet, this game. I don't see how it's going to end. Because I still think it could go either way, really. It's just going to be a long, stally game. I just can't believe he bought special... Special spider. We, we didn't even consider it. He does. Okay. That was good damage. That's good shit. He spins away the rocks. Which is nice. Is he lefties? So my lefties go first. You're not lefties. Okay. So do I want to get my rocks up again? Or will you like just bot me? Do I need rocks? Probably do because I mean I assume this means a raccoonid is probably not the boots. Um, I wonder if he's AV. You know, I think he might be AV. I'm gonna click Stealth Rock. He clicks EQ. I'll probably kill. It doesn't. Okay. We're gonna get rocks up. So we give him a we give him a decision here, right? He either has to spin. Me more damage on this thing. He spins. Okay, so does he? Does he crit me? No. Wow, Rat's been killed me. Okay. Um, this thing's a problem now. I think I have to go into this. Um, he might triple axle, which is fine. I will strength sap. I can't touch this thing. Yeah, triple axles me. Oh god, it's actually killing me now. No. We are going to strength sap though and get most of that back, which is nice. That does, that does pretty much everything back. So I think now 
I must go for the Terror and Leech Seed. And then Protect. Stop him from trying to spin. If he predicts my Terror, and clicks Bullet Punch, and this man's a god. Um, this does mean I can't take on the Petron as well now, though. He withdraws. He withdraws. He has Petron, okay. See, I probably didn't actually need to tear it there, really, did I? I didn't need to click the terror there. I need to get chip. So we get the leech seed. I think he'll click the pike shot here. Or he'll click recover. So I wonder if it's worth going into this. And just clicking a button. I I think now I said five minutes ago I don't know how this game ends. I see it ending as a Q win, but you know, like he clicks my ligament chain, okay. We live? No. So now we just go um we go you. Click the nasty plot button. What will change? If I don't get poisoned here. It's still, still leech seeded as well. Good parting shot. I click agility. And then I just have to hope that the hit him on top uh, dies. Doesn't kill me with the. What's it called? So that's, this is a really quick patch run. the berserk boost at any point. Do I need the berserk boost? I don't think I do. Um, right, we fiery wrath. This thing. Kill it. Ultras. L please land your moves. Land your moves. That's all I ask for. That's all I ask for. That, that might be game. It, it might be game. Tink's dead, I'm pretty sure. Um, your Scarf Deshifu. I feel like I must have prepped for this, right? We land the Hurricane. We kill it. Moltres Gaming. Okay. Um, so Gardevoir's dead, Ashifu's dead. Petra runs dead. Rakranid is asleep. Now, what's my safest play? Do I click uh, a Rakranid? Let's just say you are. Yeah, max. Let's just say your max HP 252 plus 2. So Hurricane kills, obviously. We're going to click it. Like, if I miss, then. Okay, we hit. Moltres Gaming. Moltres Gaming. Holy shit. The team prep showed this thing was going to absolutely destroy. I just need Fiery Wrath to kill. And I'm pretty sure it will. Mac Punch isn't going to kill me. Um, I'm so surprised. I just clicked Fiery Wrath, right? He 
He might be AV. Oh, he can't be because he would have gone into it. Lived. Oh no. Triple axis and kill. Oh god. Um, the way I win this is by clicking Leech Seed and not missing, or clicking Strength Sap once to debuff him. If he's Rest Chest, Resto Chesto, then he wins. I have no idea. He, no, he must be AV. He's AV. Bullet Punch does. I don't think a crit will even kill me here. Yeah, okay. He should be good. Because he outspeeds me. So that means my leech seed goes off after the rapid spin. And we should be good. Even if he crits me here, I think he'll be good. We'll be good, right? No crit. Do we land the leech seed? Come on! We land the leech seed. Holy shit, we actually managed to do it. Moltres just went absolutely crazy. I can't believe we actually beat Cubes. I really needed that for the playoffs chances. Holy shit, we actually won it. That's incredible. Um, Moltres did Moltres things. I'm really sad. It's really sad they didn't kill. Um, but, wow. If, so Q actually threw that. Because he could have just gone Moltres. Uh, could have gone to hit him on top without killing everything. I think. So the Vinash Ifu left. And the Spider. Like, I could have still won if he didn't sack everything off. Um, but, yeah. Like, I was modest, max special attack. So if Q had done that calc, he must have known he would live. So I really have no idea what happened there. Like, I won because I think Q misplayed that. Um, he did say to me before the game he was quite tired, so that could be an explanation why. Um, but we'll take it. Um, yeah, that's week eight, the penultimate week of PPL. What a game. Um, yeah, if you did enjoy this, guys, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Obviously, check out Q. I don't know what I'm telling you because you probably all already know who Q is because he's such a nice guy and he does really good content. He does lots of the uh, battle spot, not battle spot, um, like singles and doubles, like VGC and stuff like that. So, yeah, go check him out because he's a regular uploader and he's a really, really chill guy too. He's been so accommodating for me for this battle because I've had so much personal shit going on. So, I wish him nothing but the best, really. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you for week nine against Matt in the final game of the regular season. After that, I might see you in playoffs, which would be incredible. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.